Well, it's Sunday morning and these big son of a bitches are gonna drop. It'll be interesting to see them come down. Can you say timber? Here she comes. Here she comes. Coming down. Coming down. Bam! <laughs> That one's coming down real soon, the one right in the middle. Here it comes. Okay, here it's moving. <laughs> okay, here goes the here goes the big one. We got uh, I got my really big one down. Now he's taking down the neighbor lady's big one too. This is gonna hit the ground hard. Once it drops, it's gonna be a big one. The whole tree is already starting to shake. Every time he drives it, it's pushing it over a little bit more and more. Yeah. Wow. Here it goes. I hear it cracking. Here it comes. Here it comes. Damn! <laughs> and the wind blows in my face from it dropping. Well, here it is. I got me a mountain of slash to burn. These are the limbs off of the trees that we dropped. Just the ones that crossed the road. But, amazingly enough, I've got sunshine, and it's, I don't know, let me check and see real quick. I got sunshine damn near at 9 o'clock at night, a little bit, here in my yard. It's so nice. We got uh, the li neighbor lady's big tree down. We still got quite a few more to go. I got a long way still to go on these trees, but... <clears throat> build a fire pit tonight I got enough of the slash burn that at least I can get my car out of the driveway yes some of my slash is still in the road but I will clear it out as quickly as I can at least I have got uh, my driveway cleared off and that portion of it so it's all good it's going to be a nice yard sooner or later and I'm really, really happy with it. Take it easy. There we go. There's just a little bit of my leftovers from what was burned out of the driveway. <coughs> it's burning down. I got to let it go ahead and calm down because it's getting too late at night to be burning. Ah, feels good to see it coming down. One step closer. Go ahead and hit it, John. Look at this, we're pulling off the back of the van, a little thing. That's the one log, but we also got another one on its way. We've been dragging these logs out into a nice little log deck so we can cut them up with chainsaw. Anyhow, good times, man, good times. It's raining, but hell, 
It's always raining. Well, good morning, everybody. Saturday, Labor Day weekend. Here we go. <laughs> I got my buddy Craig Aarons operating the machinery. He's gonna kinda, he's doing a lot of the operating for me and trade for a lot of the wood that's in the back of the house. We got a long ways to go. I'm gonna try to get it when he actually grabs a hold of that stumps and gets out of here. So, I'll take a quick break. Hell, yeah, we're walking it out, man. It's it's coming out. Dun da da da, my buddy Craig. <laughs> he probably don't like being filmed. Grabbing a few of the logs to pull up front up here for firewood. Pickup sticks. All right, we're digging. I'll go ahead and do a little walk around here. <laughs> Hopefully my camera don't get too wet. This is what we're gonna be dealing with right here. Gonna be a whole lot of wet marsh. If I ain't watching it, I'm gonna end up falling asshole deep in muskeg. When you start seeing the skunk cabbage, growing like this you know you got some wet wet area but here, let's go in there here we got uh, whoa, sinking here's the back side of the burn pile I got me a good 20 foot corridor going back we ain't gonna have time on the machine to get those trees but we're definitely making progress. There's one little stump. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Look at that. Right there, believe it or not, that little piece that's sticking up is a huge stump under there. We gotta get to it here pretty soon. Anyhow, more later. Well, all the stumps are gone. They are all officially dug out. And now there is a mountain of stumps. That's a 210 Hitachi excavator and the pile is taller than it by far. Digging the last of the stumps up now and then we'll clean out the rest of these holes. Some of these holes are pretty drastic. <laughs> right up to the side of the house and drops right up at four or five feet. Wow. Okay. Boy, it's hard to grasp the scope of this on a camera. Added one colossal pile of stumps. Ugh. Oh. About the only thing left for me to do now is to pressure wash the pressure wash the excavator tracks. Craig said seen that and he said you better watch lighten it all off in one big time. He says you burn your house down. We're 60 feet away from the house, but it's gonna get hot. 
I definitely got some monster holes, but this stuff's treacherous to walk on right now too because it's just solid mud. A little bit firmer up here by the house because there's a little bit of pit run, but you get out there in the middle where it's just nothing but that glacial silt and it's a soggy motherfucker. Got a few logs for him to cut up there, but he's happy to do it. He told me he promised me he'd take and come over and run this thing if I got it for him. <coughs> so he's good on his word. He came over and got on it. I got the sh tracks shoveled out, but I'm gonna pressure wash them tomorrow. I gotta take the chainsaw one more time to that little stick stuck in it, but one more quick scope through. It had been one raining son of a bitch all day, but I've had rain gear on all day. I guess I could take a picture of myself, huh? Let's see, how can I do this? This is what I've been looking like all day. Grounded rat. 